Binge Pipe is pleased to bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, the all-seeing elder gods are hungry. Merry Christmas! My small heart just grew three sizes this day. Actually, no, it's, uh, it's an arterial blockage. You're all playing the same game, but each of you is unique and beautiful in bizarre ways. And welcome to all of you in the audience who couldn't be bothered to buy the game. I'm adding an audience bonus just for you. The more audience members get a question right, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience screws it up, there's going to be a lot of cash on the line for that right answer. Hang on tight, we're in for a ride. Question one. First question. The internet is sick. Which of these online sensations would not be a viral video? Keyboard cat gets rabies, Charlie bit my finger and gave me tuberculosis, grape lady falls and gets mumps, or sneezing panda might have hepatitis C. Let's see how that shook out. <laughs> Tuberculosis is a bacterial infection. The other diseases are viral. <laughs> so wash your hands, unless you want to go full-blown YouTube star. And how'd the audience fare? Looks like a good chunk of this audience is just jabbing buttons at random. That means the right answer is worth a little extra. Buy yourself something nice. Hallelujah. Let's try Goo Goo Gaga. If a pregnant woman wants to make sure foul language isn't the first thing her baby hears, which of the following movie nights should she skip? Watching Seven at Seven Weeks, watching Twelve Monkeys at Twelve Weeks, watching Twenty Fifth Hour at Twenty Five Weeks, or watching The Forty Year Old Virgin at Forty Weeks? Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Around week 25 and 26 of pregnancy, babies start to hear sounds from outside the womb. It's also the best time to introduce your baby to actor Barry Pepper, so tough decision. Why do we do it with three? There is no hiding from... People of Earth, prepare to be disrupted. And insert an evil laugh because it's time for Dis or Dat. Dis or dat. I'm going to read you seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a tech project spearheaded by Elon Musk, you know, the Tesla guy, or an invention of comic book supervillain Dr. Doom. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between... Elon Musk or Dr. Doom. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Ready? Good. Hyperloop. SpaceX. Wow, 
wow, that was mostly unimpressive. But player three, uh, tough one. You failed to live up to my already very low expectations. Proactive measures have been enacted for customer fidelity. Oh, that means it's screw time. <laughs> That's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. We like to give you things, as long as they're not tangible. I don't need you anymore. Why not try PETA party? A big black bug bit a big black bear that... Oh, sorry. You you caught me in the middle of my vocal warm-ups. Uh, well, let's just, let's get on with the question. I'll find a way to stay warm. Which provisions would a principled PETA person not put in their PETA pocket? <laughs> Look sharp. <laughs> Player three decided to screw. Hashtag, you're it. Let's see who got it. That's correct for a totally different question. <laughs> PETA stands for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Shawarma involves chopping them up and spinning them over a flame, which may be delicious, but isn't exactly polite. Do they make tofuarma? Nice use of the screw, Player 3. Here's that cash. This one's called Castaway. Who doesn't know their role? You know, because they're in the wrong play. Elphaba in The Lion King, Elder Price in The Book of Mormon, Aaron Burr in Hamilton, or Kate Monster in Avenue Q. So who got it? If you ever replay this question, don't pick that one. <laughs> Alphaba is from Wicked. That's the end of round one. Time to see who is actually trying. Currently, player five is in the lead. Speaking of the exact opposite of that, these players are making everyone feel bad. Market research indicates that it's time for more screws. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't forget to use them. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? Really good stuff. Six trombones is not a parade. Next up, Sonic the Comic. Ever seen a hedgehog do stand-up comedy? No? Okay, great story. A hedgehog comic opens his set with, Hey folks, how does a hedgehog make love? Very carefully. hey -o. A heckler responds, Don't quit your day job! What was the hedgehog's brilliant comeback? Don't quit sleeping for 18 hours? Thank you, I won't. My day job is curling myself into a ball. You should try. So watch out. <laughs> Player four has screwed you all. Uh, let's flip the script on this question. <laughs> so what'd you pick? Yeah, it's crazy. They have quills on their back, so they have to rub up against a wall and, uh, wow, you actually picked this one. They only do that when they're frightened or after bombing at comedy clubs. <laughs> this was the one. Hedgehogs are nocturnal and they pretty much sleep all day long. But that's also true of most human stand-up comedians. Oh, excellent screwing player four. Enjoy your cash. Hey, question. 
At BingePipe, we value your needs. Would you like a backward question or a forward question? Use your device to select your preference. The votes are in. We graciously accept your choice. Las Bears se moque de moi. Set. It's time for a backward question. Kiss Silk or Fleek Elf Taco Cat Denise Sind. Which of these is a palindrome? How do we do? Why would you think the question is the answer? N never mind, it's rhetorical. A uh, palindrome is a word or phrase that spell the same forwards and backwards. So taco cat is the only option that plays by the rules. Unlike my cats who completely forget their table manners when I give them tacos. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. This one's known as Mamma Mia! That's a spicy ABBA question. Okay, so... The first Mamma Mia movie was called Mamma Mia. Then the sequel was called Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Which is super clever because Here We Go Again is the line right after Mamma Mia in the song Mamma Mia. Still with me? Okay, so following that logic, what should a third Mamma Mia movie be called? Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Well, well. Player one just let loose a screw. Maybe it's time to rebrand. Okay, what'd you pick? <laughs> the words following Here We Go Again and Mamma Mia are My My. So the third movie's full title would be Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, My My. <laughs> then they say, how can I resist you? Then they say Mamma Mia again. And then I think if I say any more, we have to pay ABBA or Meryl Streep a bunch of money. Way to screw player one. This is your cash now. Coming up next, type equals squiggly bracket Hollywood comma contemporary squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. Yeah, so Binge Pipe has this whole troubling thing they do where they need help identifying some uh, data. We can interface directly now. Oh, isn't that nice? Find a quiet place, prod a pitchforks, and quiz colon. Mary who from The Office? Whose search history have we acquired? Reese Witherspoon, Emily Blunt, Natalie Portman, or Renee Zellweger? Who picked what? You won't like this, unless you're into failure. Emily Blunt starred in the movies The Quiet Place and The Devil Wears Prada. The former was directed by her husband, John Krasinski, who starred in the TV show The Office. Uh, does, does her search history ever include anything about me? Definitively, no. Mm-hmm, yeah, that makes sense. Try this on for size. 12 small steps for man. Imagine you're planning a girl's trip with a single goal. Rosé all day. Considering the length of its days, which of these destinations would allow you to drink wine for the longest period of time? Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, or Uranus?
you guys pick? One day on Venus is equal to 243 Earth days, so you better hit a discount liquor store before you go. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. With friends like these, who's stuck in these friend zones? Good luck. Player two takes it. I gotta hand it to you, player two. Your score is quite impressive. Unless it was your idea to play this game. If that's the case. You don't know Jack! Objection. Your Honor, this witness is clearly just a tugboat in a trench coat. 